design and implement a BLSM addressing scheme. Topology. Use the router 4321 on Pocket Racer for BR1 and BR2. And switches, 2960 switches. S1. And S2. Use a straight through cables from gigabit 001 on BR1 to connect the first Ethernet 5 on S1. And gigabit 001 on BR2 to connect first Ethernet 5 on S2. And finally, the connection between routers using gigabit 000 in both sides. Variable length subnet mass BLSM was designed to avoid wasting IP addresses. With BLSM, a network is subnetted and then resubnetted. This process can be repeated multiple times to create subnets of various sizes based on the number of calls required in each subnet. The required resources to routers on Realab 4221, for example, two switches, 2960, one PC, console cables, Ethernet cables. Examining network requirements. You will examine the network requirements to develop a VLSM addressing a scheme for the network displayed in the topology diagram. Using then 192.168.33.128, 25 prefix network address. Determine how many host addresses and subnets are available. How many host addresses are available in a 25 prefix network? This is the base IP address and the prefix 25. Twenty-five prefix in decimal is 255, 255, 255, 128 subnet mask. If you are using 25 prefix, you are using uh, 25 ones in the subnet mask. Okay, 8 plus 8, 16 ones plus 8, 24 ones plus 1. 25 ones, but the IP address has uh, 32 bits. So if you have 25 ones on the subnet mask, the host portion will have seven zeros. Okay, and do the following operation: 32 minus 25 is equal to 7, where 32 is the number of bits for an IPv4 address and 25 is the prefix for the base network address. And 7 is the number of bits on the host portion. To, calcul to calculate the number of hosts, 2 is the base for binary system, power of 7, this 7, minus 2, because you will not include the network address and broadcast address, uh, the answer is 126. 126 number of hosts. So this is the answer. How many host addresses are available in a 
25 prefix network 126 hosts what is the total number of host addresses needed in the topology diagram 40 plus 25 is 65 plus 5 is um, 70 plus 4 74 plus 4 78 plus 2 80 the answer is 80 80 hosts how many subnets are needed in the top and the network topology one two plus four they are six six subnets three subnets will be implemented and three additional subnets will be used for feature implementations determine the largest subnet what is the subnet description for the largest sub the largest is this because it has the highest number of hosts 40 and this is the description how many IP addresses are required in the la largest subnet for the IP addresses for the hosts what subnet mask can support that many host addresses n will be the number of bits for hosts and do the following calculation 2 is the base for binary system power n minus 2 and should be equal to 40 because 40 is the number of IP addresses and the number of bits for the hosts minus 2 you will not include the broadcast address and network address and the base for binary system 2 okay then what happened if n is equal to 6 if n is equal to 6 this will be 62 it's not 40 but it's a good number what happened if n is 5 this will be 30 30 is not enough to cover the 40 IP addresses that I want so 5 is not the answer what happened if n is 7 the answer is 126 so 126 will cover the requirement of for the IP addresses but you are wasting IP addresses uh, 6 is a good number the answer here is 62 62 hosts six bits for hosts will support for the IP addresses and do the following operation 32 minus 6 is equal to 26 and now uh, the prefix will be this is the prefix for new subnet mask 
or also is the bits for bits for network portion so this is the answer well theory two is the where well, theory two is the number of bits for an IPv4 address six the bits for hosts and if you will use six bits for hosts 26 will be the prefix for the new subnet mask and 26 prefix belongs to 255, 255, 255, 192 so this is the new subnet mask okay the prefix and the subnet mask in decimal so this is the answer but also you can use this table here And look at here, uh, this is the number of hosts. You want uh, 40 hosts. Theory is not enough. Okay, theory is not enough. 62 is a very good number. And 126 will cover 40 hosts but you are wasting IP addresses so 62 is the answer and for 62 you will use 6 bits for host portion and if you will use 6 bits for host portion you will use 26 bits for network portion and 26 will be the prefix for the new subnet mask how many total host addresses can that subnet mask support the answer is here if you will use a prefix of 26 bits you can do the following operation 32 minus 26 and the answer is 6 where 6 is the number of bits for hosts and where 32 is the bits for 32 the bits for an IP before address 26 the prefix for the new subnet mask and six the number of bits for hosts and two power six minus two is 62 so the answer is this 62 how many total host addresses can that subnet mask support 62 Can you subnet 25 prefix network address to support this subnet? Yes, because the prefix of the base network address that is 25 prefix is a lower value than the new prefix for the new subnet mask that is 26. This is the base network address and prefix. Place it here. 192, 168, 33, 128, prefix 25. You will need six uh, subnets. One. Two, three, 
three. Four. Five. Six. Place the base network address here, but only convert the two last octets to binary. The first two octets on decimal one ninety two, one sixty eight. 33 is 32 plus 1, okay. 128 is this, 128, uh, 1, and zeros. You want uh, 40 hosts. Okay, on hosts, 30 is not enough, 62 is a good number, so this is the new prefix. Copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. This is the network address up here, and this is the broadcast address down here. Okay, the network address, the first IP for host, this will be the last IP for host, and this will be the broadcast. Okay, this is the network address. 192.168.33.128. Okay, 128. 192.168.33.128. The prefix is all the green portion. One I two uh, has a bits plus a bits, sixteen bits plus a bits, twenty four bits, twenty five, twenty six bits. This is the broadcast. One I two one sixty eight thirty three. 128 plus 63. Remember, if this is 64, this is 63. 128 plus 63, 191. 192, 168, 33, 191. Prefix 26. And also, uh, okay, prefix 26, the same prefix. And the first IP for host is the net one next to the network. So if the network is 128, the first IP for host is 129. And if the broadcast is 191, the last is 190, one before the broadcast. The last IP host is one IP before the broadcast. Okay, go next. If you have six subnets, you will always start from the highest number of hosts for the largest subnet, in this case with 40 hosts. So the next subnet to create will be the second largest subnet. In this, in this case, have uh, 25 hosts. So this is the the second largest subnet to create.
And the third largest network is this with five hosts. The next will be this with four hosts. The next, this, four hosts. And at the end, only two hosts. Okay. From the largest, the subnet with the highest number of hosts, the second largest, 25, 5, 4, 4, and 2. This is the this is the order, and you need twenty five hots here. Now the next number will be this one uh, one eight two one sixty eight thirty three one one zero 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 okay the next number in binary for six ones is one with six zeros you want 25 hosts theory is a good number and this will be the new subnet mask copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. Now you have the network address and the broadcast address for this subnet. We are too long with 25 hosts. This is the network. 192, 168, 33, 128. 128 plus 64 is 182. Obviously, if the broadcast on the previous subnet is 191, the network address for the ne next subnet will be the next number, 192. Review the the prefix eight sixteen twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven. The broadcast one eighty two one sixty eight thirty three uh, one twenty eight plus sixty four is one eighty two plus thirty one. Remember, if this is 32, this is 31. 192 plus 31 is 223. The broadcast 192, 168, 33, 2, 223. With the sign subnet mask 27. The first IP host in this subnet is one next to the network. If network is 192, the first IP host will be 193. And the last IP host is one before the broadcast. If the broadcast is, the broadcast is uh, 223, the last IP host is 222. Now, the third subnet to create is the third largest subnet, in this case with five hosts. The next number, 192, 168, 33, 1, 1. In binary, the next number of five ones is one with five zeros.
and you want five hosts. Okay, here on host, six is a good number, so the subnet mask will be placed here. Copy this and fill the spaces with ones. Network is this 182.168.33.224. The prefix is 816, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. The broadcast 182.168.33. 224 plus 7 231 182 and 68 33 231 same prefix 29 obviously 224 is the network because the broadcast on the previous subnet is 223 and the network for the next subnet is 224 the next number I have the first IP for this subnet. If network is 224, first IP is 225. If broadcast is 231, last IP host is 231 before the broadcast. Now, the fourth largest subnet with four hosts. I have the next number, and I 268. Zero, zero. And the in binary, the next number of three ones is one and three zeros. You want four hosts. Six is a good number. Use this mask, copy this and fill the spaces with ones. Now you have the network address and broadcast address. The network address 192 and 68, 33, 224 plus 8 is 232. 192, 168, 33, 232. Prefix. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. The same prefix as the previous subnet. Obviously, if the broadcast of the previous subnet it is 231, the network address for the next subnet is 232. The broadcast is 224 plus 15. Okay, if this is 16, this is 15. 224 plus 15. Two, 239. 182, 168, 33, 239. Same subnet mask. Allow the first IP for host. 233. The last IP for hosts. 238, one before the broadcast. Now I load the next larger subnet with four hosts. I load the next number. 192, 168, 33. In binary, the next number of four ones is one with four zeros. You want four hosts. Six is a good number. So this is the new subnet mask. And copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. And this is the network. 240. 182, 168, 33, 240. Prefix 29, the same prefix as the previous networks. The broadcast 
240 plus 7 to 247. Same prefix. If network is 240, first IP host 241. If broadcast is 247, last IP for host 246. And you have the next number. Three. In binary, the next number of three ones is one with three zeros. You want only to host or host. This is a good number two, and this will be the new subnet mask. Copy this. Fill the remaining spaces with ones to allow the broadcast. And now you have the network address and the broadcast address for this subnet. And this is 248. And I2, 248, 33248. Obviously, if the broadcast of the previous subnet is 247, the network address for the next subnet is 248. Prefix 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. The broadcast 248 plus 3. 192, 168, 33, 248 plus 3, 251. 30. The first IP, if network is 248, first IP is 249. The last IP host, if broadcast is 251, last IP, last IP host, 250. What are the network addresses that would result from this subnetting? I don't think this is necessary. Okay, I will use a direct method to use this, these tables. Uh, this is all that you want. Okay, so all this is not necessary. Determine the second largest subnet. What is the subnet description? Obviously, is this we are too long? What subnet? Uh, how many IP addresses are required? Twenty-five hosts. Uh, what subnet mask can support that many host addresses? Twenty-seven. How many total host addresses can that subnet mask support? This subnet mask supports 30 hosts. And all this is not necessary. The, determine the third largest subnet. What is the description? The third largest is the subnet with five hosts, and this is the description br 2 iod lang for feature. How many IP addresses is required? Five hosts. What subnet mask can support that many host addresses? 29. How many total host addresses can that subnet mask support? This is the subnet mask, the 29 subnet mask, and supports six, six hosts. This is a controversial method for me. I prefer my method that is a direct method, okay? Okay, so I will ignore all this to not confuse you. 
Okay, the important thing is design the BLSM addressing scheme. Calculate the subnet information. BR1 LAN for the host network address. Is this fair host address? Is this broadcast address? This and all this table here. Okay. Complete the device interface address table. Assign the first host address in the subnet to Ethernet interfaces. BR1 should be assigned at the first host address and in the BR1, BR2 link. Okay, for example, BR1, gigabit 000, and gigabit 01. On BR1, Gigabit 001 is on the BR1 LAN side. So Gigabit 001 is placed on BR1 LAN with 40 hosts and use the first that is this 129, 33, 129. Correct. Okay, very good. 33129. Prefix 26. Prefix 26 in decimal. 255, 255, 255, 192. Gigabit 000 on BR1 is this. And it's placed on the BR1, BR2 link subnet. Okay, this subnet and says BR1 should be assigned at the first host IP address in the BR1, BR2 link. So use the first for BR1 33.249. And the prefix is 30. And is this 255, 255, 255, 252? Okay. Theory 255, 255, 255, 252. 26, 255, 255, 255, 192. BR2 gigabit 001 BR2 gigabit 001 is placed on BR2 LAN subnet with 25 hosts. Remember that this subnet this subnet will be implemented. The another subnets are designed for a future. So the only subnet you will implement, so the only subnet that you will implement is the BR2 LAN with 25 hosts. So gigabit 001 is placed on BR2 LAN with 25 hosts. And is this. And assign the first IP host for this interface, 33.193. Correct, 33.193. The prefix is 27. This subnet mass, 255, 255, 255, 224. 27, 255, 255, 255, 224.
and for gigabit 00 on VR2, gigabit 00 on VR2, displace it on VR1, VR2 link, and that subnet, and it's this subnet. With the assign the second IP host because the first IP host is used by gigabit 000 on BR1. So if the first is 249, the second is 250, 33.250 is the last IP host address and also the second IP host address. So BR2 on gigabit 00 will be assigned with 33.250 IP address. And use the subnet mask, the prefix of 30, and the subnet mask 255-255-255-252. A better way to understand this is do the following. VR1 LAN for the host. This is the network address. VR1, VR2 link to hosts. This is the network address. VR2 LAN 25 hosts. This is the network address. Separate this for future. Okay. We are one long for the host. This is the network address. The instructions says uh, assign the first IP to the router interfaces, gigabit 001 in this case. So gigabit 001 will use the first. If 28 is the 128 is the network, 129 is the first IP. Okay, and uh, gigabit 001 use the displace it on this network 33.182 gigabit 001 uh, assign the first IP to the router the interface router so the first IP is .183 And here, gigabit 00 on the BR1, BR2 link will use the first IP. If the network is 248, the first IP will be that 249. And for gigabit 000 on BR2, Use the next dot two fifty. So this table can be represented in the topology. Gigabit zero zero on BR one two forty nine. Gigabit 00 on BR1 249. Gigabit 001 129 on BR1. Gigabit 001 129 on BR1. Gigabit 000 250 on BR2. 
gigabit 000 250 on VR2, gigabit 001 193 on VR2. Gigabit 001-193 on VR2. Cable and configure the IPv4 network. The topology already uh, configured. Uh, configure basic settings on each router. Okay, I will use a PC. Uh, I will use the console cable to connect the RS-232 port on the PC to connect the console port of VR1. And go to PC. And access the console router using the terminal. Okay. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Enter. Enter. Okay. The configurations on VR1. Assign the device name to the routers. Okay. To assign the device name, you need to access the privilege access mode using the enable command, then access the global configuration mode using the configure terminal command, then set the host name, BR1. Disable DNS lookout to prevent the routers from attempting to translate incorrectly entered commands as though they were host names. No IP domain lookup. Assign class as the privilege exit encrypted password for both routers. Enable secret, the password is class. Assign Cisco as the console password and enable login for the routers. Line console zero, set the password Cisco, login to enable the password. Assign Cisco as the BTY password and enable login for the routers. Okay, access to line BTY, line BTY from 0 to 4 or maybe from 0 to 15. Okay, from 0 to 15, uh, 16 lines, 16 uh, possible telnet connections. The password also is Cisco, and use the login command to enable that password. Encrypt the plain text passwords for routers. You are on line configuration mode. Exit to go to global configuration mode and set the pass uh, encrypt the passwords with the service password password and encryption command. Create a banner that will warn anyone accessing the device that unauthorized access is prohibited on both routers. Okay, banner message of the day and create the banner. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Configure interfaces on each router. Assign an IP address and subnet mask to each interface using the table that you completed in part two. Okay, use this table or also use the topology. For example, for VR1, Gigabit 001 will use the IP address 129. 
192.168.33.129 prefix 26 on gigabit 0001 okay on R1 192.168.33.129 prefix 26 255.255.255.192 Okay, access the interface gigabit 001 IP address 192.168.168.33.129. The prefix is 26, but use the decimal subnet mask 255.255.255.255.192. Enter. and configure an interface description okay add a description that is only a label description br1 now for example and activate the interface with the no shutdown command Now configure gigabit 000 192.168.33.49 subnet mask 255.255.255.252. Okay, this gigabit 00 with IP address 249. Prefix 30. And gigabit 000. IP address 192.168.33.249.255.255.255.252. At the description, BR1, BR2 link, and enable the interface with the no shutdown command. Save the configurations on all devices. Okay, you are in interface configuration mode, so use exit to go global configuration mode and exit the game to go privilege exit mode and save the changes. Copy running config to start up config. Enter, enter. Okay. Now configure BR2. Connect from RS232 port on the PC to the console port on BR2. Okay, close this and open again the terminal. Okay. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Enter. And do the same configurations. The device name, enable, configure terminal, hostname, BR2. Disable DNS lookup. No IP, the main lookup. Assign class as the privilege exit encrypted password. Enable secret class. Cisco console password. Line console zero. Assign the password Cisco and enable the password with login command. Cisco BTY password. Line BTY 0 to 15. Password Cisco login. Encrypt the plain text passwords. Exit from the line configuration mode. Exit from the line configuration mode to the global configuration mode. Uh, encrypt the plain text passwords. Service password encryption. 
create banner banner message of the day and now to raise it access prohibited configure interfaces okay use this table or use the topology for example for gigabit 0000, 000 is 250 192.168.33.250 prefix 30 okay gigabit 000, 000 192.168.33.250 prefix 30 that is 255 255 255 252 interface gigabit 000, 000 IP address 192.168.33.250 255, 255, 255, 252. Add a description, BR1, BR2 link, and enable the interface. Don't forget that. Enable the interface, very important. Description is not necessary because it's only a label, but not shut down command is very important. You will see uh, this red LED will turn on green. No shutdown, enter. Now it's green. Because both sides are enabled. Okay. You have it 001, 193, submit mass 224. Gigabit 001 IP 193 subnet mask 224 prefix 27. Gigabit 001 IP address 193 33 dot 193 224. The description VR2LAN. And not shut down. Save the changes, save the configurations on the privilege exit mode. You can go directly to the privilege exit mode using the end command to go directly from interface configuration mode to privilege exit mode. Enter and copy the running config to a startup. Config. Enter, enter. Test connectivity. From VR1 ping VR2 gigabit 00, zero interface. Okay, connect this to VR1 to the console. Close this, open again. And in the privilege exit mode of VR1, ping the gigabit 00, zero interface on VR2, 250. 182, 168.33.250. success the first ping fails but if you want repeat all pings success from br2 ping br1 gigabit 00, zero interface okay go to br2 console close this Open again, and from privilege exit mode on VR2, ping gigabit 00, zero on gigabit 00, zero on VR1 is 249. 242, 
troubleshoot connectivity issues if pings were not successful. Pings to gigabit Ethernet LAN interfaces on routers will not be successful. A routing protocol needs to be in place for other devices to be aware of those subnets. Can you think of a shortcut for calculating the network addresses of consecutive 3D prefix subnets? Uh, 3D prefix network has four addresses spaces the network address to host addresses and the broadcast address. Another technique to obtain the next through the prefix network address would be to take the network address of the previous through the prefix network and add four to the last octet. For example, do the following example. to host subnet A to host subnet B to host and subnet C to host And the base will be, for example, this. This is the base IP address. Sublet this. They are three subnets, subnet A, subnet B, and subnet C. Two hosts each one. Place this uh, base network address here, 192.168.1.1. I will convert only the two last octets. This is one and this is zero. One and zero. You need two hosts. Two hosts. And the submit mask will be placed here. Copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. So this is the network address and this is the broadcast address. So the network is 192.168.1.0 And the prefix is 816, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And this is the broadcast on a two one sixty eight one. This is three three one a two one sixty eight one three prefix thirty. I go there next on a two one sixty eight. One, the next number of two ones in binary is one with two zeros. And you need two hosts, also two hosts. Here, two hosts. 
So the submit mask is the same. Copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. This is the network address and this is the broadcast address. So the network address is 192.168.1 and this is for and this is for 182.168.1 for prefix theory. And the broadcast is this 192.168.1 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. 192 and 168, 1, 7, with the same subnet mask. Obviously, if the broadcast of the previous subnet is 3, the next number, the network address and the next subnet will be 4. And finally, allow the third subnet with also with two hosts. 182.168.0.0.1 The next number of three ones in binary is one with three zeros. Two hosts. So use the same subnet mask, theory. Copy this and fill the remaining spaces with ones. So this is the network address, this is eight. 192.168.1.8.30 and the broadcast is 8 plus 3 is 11 192.168.11 okay with the same subnet mask okay but look at this if you have a subnet with two hosts and is this 1.0 in the next subnet also will have two hosts only at 4 0 plus 4 is 4 and use the same prefix theory and if the next subnet also has two hosts 4 plus 4 will be 8 and use the prefix theory. And also, if you have three more subnets with two hosts, the E and F, eight plus four, twelve. 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus 4, 20. That is the shortcut. Thank you.